Um, wanted to ask something to Professor Lillian Fallhaber. One of the most significant challenges for home ownership is the down payment, which increases as mortgage rates rise as well. Um, for my constituents in the U.S. Virgin Islands, we don't have access to private mortgage insurance, PMI, that's available on the mainland, which can reduce the down payment requirements to as little as 5% of the costs. Earlier this year, um, my colleague, uh, Chairman Greg Meeks of uh, financial, uh, on the Financial Services Committee, introduced the American Dream Down Payment Act, which provides a low-income families with a tax-exempt savings account which would support their funds for a down payment. However, middle-income individuals are excluded from any federal subsidized down payment program targeted to low-income individuals, such as HUD's home program. Uh, in what ways can Congress provide financial relief through tax benefits, especially with a goal to reduce savings for a down payment? Um, thank you so much for your question. So I think that this actually highlights several important issues in designing something about home ownership. So the first is just the importance of down payments relative to the ongoing cost of ownership. I mentioned that economists suggest that if you want to focus on home ownership, you want to focus on those initial costs, right? Getting together the money for a down payment, for the closing costs, for all of that. And that's different from focusing on the ongoing costs. The other issue is when you give a tax benefit that kicks in a year after you actually make that expense, that's not helping low-income individuals actually gather the money, right? Knowing that I have to get money somehow, I have to borrow from family members or from neighbors, many of whom don't have it, so that I get a tax credit in a year is different from saying, when I go into that room and sign the papers, I have cash up behind me. And so I think something like a tax-exempt savings account actually makes a lot of sense if you wanna focus on getting money in people's hands at the time of closing rather than paying people later for the money that they had to sort of gather together for that. Thank you. Thanks so much for that. Um, this is a real issue, Mr. Chairman, and I think we really have to tackle this um, in some constructive ways. I want to thank you for this. Um, a question for Mr. Tucker. Often higher wages are typically available in large urban cities New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, other places. However, these cities tend to have a significant level of income inequality among minority groups. Because of the high cost of living and housing shortages, people who have lived in these cities are actively being pushed out from their homes when rent increases, and the next available rental unit is unaffordable. Moreover, my constituency also face additional costs before and after home building necessary cistern construction, exorbitant costs for windstorm insurance. How can we ensure affordable housing is available for low-income buyers who seek to build a long-term home? And what lines of tax benefits would best be suited to mitigate the housing shortages in these cities for low-income families? Thank you for the question, Ms. Plaska. That That's a fantastic question. Um, I think that the, the fundamental goal here needs to be to increase housing abundance, uh, including in cities like the ones you listed with high wage jobs. Uh, to the extent that housing is especially scarce, it's going to be higher income people outbidding and eventually potentially displacing lower income residents. So I think that's one more reason that a sort of all the above approach of permitting and often uh, permitting more market rate housing and also including, for instance, inclusionary zoning, which would require those market rate housing units to come along with designated low income housing units is one place to start. Um, and then certainly the tax credit programs geared, you know, the low income housing tax credit program, uh, all, all the tax credit programs we've been talking about today play a major role in incentivizing the construction of actual genuine, truly affordable, housing in, in cities around the country. Thank you. Uh, my time is up. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.